Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, February 16th. I'm Giovanni Penacourt, analyst, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets. Well, there is a mystery developing in the markets. The technology-heavy Nasdaq Composite has typically underperformed as interest rates expectations have risen over the past year or so, but not anymore, this seems. The NASA continues to outperform and is now 50% up in 2023, despite an almost daily delivery of data suggesting that Federal Reserve's work is far from done. Retail sales Wednesday, which jumped 3%, were the latest example adding to generate blow, blowout jobs report as a smaller than expected fall in inflation. There's a chance the market is simply ignoring the data and thinks the Fed will do all too. But the bond market is pricing in further hikes, suggesting that the market is taking the economic report seriously. The yield on 10-year treasury ended at 3.8% yesterday, its highest close of the year, while the two-year yields are up 4.6% from 4.1% at the start of, of the month. Is the uh, bond market seeing things differently from the stock market? Or is there something else going on? Maybe it's a risk as a thing. It's a similar story for cryptocurrencies, which have also typically fallen amid the prospect of higher rates. The price of Bitcoin is up close to 50% so far this year, nearing 25000 late just last night, admittedly from a low base. That in spite of a series of negative headlines surrounding the sector, perhaps even more so than usual, per the wage Charlie Munger gave crypto another severe dressing down and the Securities and Exchange Commission is showing its teeth. After this dismal 2022 for tech stocks and cryptos, maybe there's an element of relief in the diminishing chances of, of recession and a desire to believe that this year will be better. But there's still a real conundrum to be held. Now, taking this look uh, into, into the markets, well, we're going to be having a, a sell-off, I, I, I believe, uh, market will be are trading lower also for the Nasdaq, the S&P, the Dow, uh, crude oil, I see crude oil staying idling right around $78. Uh, Net gas, they just very basically flat out, so I don't see any much movement in there. Gold, I'm looking for gold to continue trading lower to the 1800 limit marker, uh, as, as well as for silver, as well as for copper. Copper, well, I, copper actually, I'm looking at copper usually continue to do is same thing, just just you know, siding, just consolidation, lateral movements, horizontal movement, whatever you want to move it, name it. So, and then we have the Bitcoin movement of this big gap to the upside. This big gap could be closed uh, later on today, or the rally will continue, or uh, well, it will, it'll just find uh, some footing and just stay said, around the 25,000 marker, just idling in around there. Uh, the euro will continue, will most likely continue to. Uh, trade lower as, as well as with the pound because in the, in the because if the dollar index continues to move higher and trades above 104 then all of all of the selling will continue if the dollar index just stays here uh, and just starts idling uh, just trading around 1039 1037 uh, about 1350 uh, then we could probably just continue to see also just Basic, uh, basic movements and the other assets, but if the dollar index drops, then we'll see a pop on the indices, royal metals. Okay, but for right now, I'm anticipating that we will break this 104 and trade higher, and then the setup will continue. We'll, we'll start. All right, that's, that's it for me today. Have a fantastic trading day. I'll see you tomorrow.